we're going to do percent composition of a mixture and I've got my procedure in one hand and I've got my page with my data tables in the other so I staple together and I wanted to go over the uh, materials list and uh, I've got my table salt and for me I went and got salt from my kitchen and I put it into a separate beaker there so it's ready I've got my sand, and the sand is going to be in your Chem 300 kit, and it should come in a little plastic bag. Uh, I've got water in my kitchen, which I don't actually have right here, but I will get it. I've got my three beakers that it calls for, 250 uh, approximately, 50 approximately, and my 500 approximately. Um, and the exact sizes uh, don't matter that much. Um, but uh, the 250, I mean, you do want to use each of the sizes where I say to use each of the sizes, but they're approximate. Um, plastic container lid. Well, as you'll see in the procedure, uh, there's a picture of the lid. And uh, one of the first things we do is cut it up. So I've already cut it up. And I've got a ceramic oven safe bowl. I don't know if you can hear it. So it's not plastic. And almost any... Uh, ceramic bowl will do, especially since we're only heating it to 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So anyway, that's over to the side there. Spoon, plastic is best. I got my spoon here. I got my filter paper. I already did the ceramic. I don't have my oven in here, but it's in the kitchen. And last but not least, I've got my scale. So I'm all ready to go. Let's go ahead and start with preparation of the sample. For preparation of the sample, it says record the mass of a clean and dry 250 milliliter plastic beaker. Again, the exact size doesn't matter, but that's what I'm using. You can see here, mine has markings to 250, but it probably holds 300 milliliters or so. So, turn on my scale. Move everything off to the side here. Good. I've got the little dot there. And on my page, it says this weighs uh, 24.72 grams. And it says grams up there, so I'm okay. Now it says, uh, take a plastic container lid, cut off the outer edge that bends down. Um, so I've already done that. Cut the rest of it into the tiniest pieces you can. So as I showed you already, I've got my tiny pieces. You may have to have stopped the video to do this. And you can see um, when you get towards the end, some of the pieces are a little bigger, but uh, most of them are pretty tiny. Uh, there's a real tiny one right there. And um, place the plastic pieces into the beaker and record the mass. Uh, oh, I went to 24.73, but we know that uh, it's only good. to plus or minus 0.04 anyway. And my scale shut off, which it does. Anyway, so now I'm going to put all these plastic pieces in here. And then I'm going to weigh it again. And now I get 28.11 grams. And we're, so uh, we're making up our sample here that we're going to be uh, separating soon. So I've got that. It says uh, spoon a regular spoonful of salt into the beaker. And um, I've got some salt here. I'm not going to do this on the scale. Uh, let's see. Looks like I got just about a spoonful, so um, I'm going to just pour the whole thing in. thought I got more than a spoonful, but I did use a spoon to get it, so. All right. Weigh it again. Wait for the little circle to appear. I get 36.10 grams. You can see it's about eight grams. It, the exact mass doesn't matter, uh, meaning it could be anywhere from eight to 12 or six to 14. Uh, you don't want much smaller than six and you don't want much more than 14, uh, but 
just a spoonful. It's, it's, what's important is that you get the actual mass. All right. And then um, do the same thing, except with a spoonful of sand. Got my sand right here. This time I will just use a spoonful. All right, just a nice average looking spoonful. Pour that in. I'm gonna close my sand up. And weigh it again. Nice round number there, 44.00 grams. Can't help myself, I wrote my units in anyway. And that's gonna be our sample. It says use the back of the spoon to mix the sample until it is thoroughly mixed. I'm finished with my scale for now, so. Something like that is good. And then you're gonna snap a picture of that as your first picture. And let's go ahead and do the mass percents. And this is going to be the mass percent of plastic, mass percent of salt, and mass percent of sand. And in order to do this, we need to know the mass. Um, and so actually, let's just do mass of component. So I'm just going to put the mass of the plastic here. And that's going to be the difference between these two numbers. So I'm going to get my calculator. Just a second. 